hypertrophic um, pyramid in front of you that you're coloring, make sure that you take the time to actually color it very nicely and neatly because you'll be using it later on maybe for the test as something like a visual. Emma, is this the kind of coloring that you're used to doing? I've seen much better coloring from you. You know, even when we're coloring, we still have to excel in what we do. We have to do our best at all times, right? So let's try that again, all right? All right, so you guys have your Tropic Pyramid in front of you. This is going to be used on your test next week, so make sure you take extra care in actually coloring it and um, doing a great job with your coloring. I know it seems silly, but you really have to um, make sure you're doing a good job. Good job. Good. Wow, look at you, Emma. That is amazing. Coloring in the lines, you're doing a fabulous job. You're excelling at what you do. Give me a high five. You rock. Okay, Oliver, this is your um, quarter one report card. And I just want to go over things with you. Um, do you see your grades for all of these subjects? Now, I want you to look at this side. For ELA, it says six missing assignments. Math, it says 10 missing assignments. In science, six missing assignments. In social studies, 12 missing assignments. Do you think that maybe that might have affected your grades? Is that really excelling in what you do? Okay, so Bobcats really excel in what they do, and that means that they complete all of their work. So is that something you're willing to work on? Okay, yes. all right. This is your second quarter report card. Do you see the grades? A, B, A, B. And look at the missing assignments. Can you tell me the numbers? Zero. All zeros. Give me a high five. You are excelling what you do, and you're doing a great job, and you brought up all of your, your, um, your low grades before, and it was all because of missing assignments, and you did, you're doing such a great job. I'm so proud of you. All right, class, for this lesson, we're going to work on our penmanship. That's how neat we write. We're going to work on capital letters, spelling, and punctuation. So as a warm-up, I want you to simply copy what I'm writing up here onto your piece of paper as neatly and as precisely as you can. Is what? The. Did you capitalize your T? No. no. Did you? But did you capitalize that D? Yeah. Were you supposed to? No. Are you excelling in what you're doing right now? No. no. Do you think that you could, if you put more effort, you could write this a lot neater and a lot more precise? Yeah. Okay. All right. For today's lesson, we're going to work on handwriting um, using capital letters, spelling properly, and punctuation. So what I want you to do is write exactly what I'm writing on the board on your piece of paper for a warm-up. You guys with me? Yes. Okay. Make sure you are focused on neat handwriting. Capital letters when they should be capital, lowercase letters when they should be lowercase letters. We got writing neatly, and don't forget the end punctuation. Oh my! Look how nice your handwriting is. Can you tell me what uh, letter was supposed to be capitalized? No. What letter in the? T. T. Did anything else need to be capitalized? No. And what's our end punctuation? Period. Period. Nice job. Give me five. You excelled in what you did today, didn't you? 